Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited. I am headed out the door right now to one of our local Kohl's stores. Uh, if you haven't heard already, Draper James, which is Reese Witherspoon's brand of clothing, came out with an RSVP line and they are, I believe, exclusively at Kohl's. And side note, she actually got two Instagram influencers, which are absolute dolls and they are the face of this brand and so I wanted to just kind of go check it all out and support them too so anyway I'm gonna head over to Kohl's I did some checking and there is one of our local stores looks like they have tons of stuff in stock so I'm gonna actually do an in-store try on and check out what the section looks like in that Kohl's so come along with me Wow this clothing line sure looks promising it is very cohesive and beautiful these are the two girls, Sabine Stinger and Carol DeMauro, that are the faces of this line. They did a great job with this campaign, and I am so excited for them. I'll put all their links below in my description box. This is just a really big collection, and it has a color scheme for just about anyone. And it looks like you can mix and match most of these uh, within the color schemes. It's pretty cool how they set it all up, and it's very, very true to the Draper James style. I'm just going to jump in and grab things in what I would call my usual sizes just to get started. And I obviously am going to gravitate towards certain colors, I'm sure, but I will try to get a good sample of everything. I don't think I have time to try everything on, <laughs> but I will put links to all the items that I do try on in the description box below, along with all of my sizes. So if you want to just directly click on those links, you can. Well, I made it into the dressing room and I'm super excited about a couple of these dresses and actually a shorts suit look. So these are kind of fun and different for me. This first blazer is a cotton rayon blend. I actually grabbed it in a size large just to see what the oversized fit would be on me. It is a textured blazer with a cotton and rayon blend. I do love the length on it because I like shorter blazers. It's a single button. I do think that the large is a little bit frumpy on me personally, and I did grab a medium in a different color, so I'll show you that in a second. But I just wanted to let you know how this first size fits if you do wanna to try to make it oversized. Um, it is $88 full price and they are not eligible for coupons, but you can earn Kohl's cash if you shop with these. It does have an interesting little cuff, um, but I didn't think that it was executed very well and you cannot pull these sleeves up like to your elbows or anything. So you pretty much have to wear them a full length at all times. They did have the little slit pockets in front and I believe there's a little slit in the back of the jacket as well. Um, I do like the white color of it. It, and the texture on it is really interesting um, and it's really fun for summer but I feel like threads and a little bit of lint would stick to it so probably going to go back for me. Here is the same blazer but in a size medium and in the other color choice which is a navy. I do like how the silhouette is a lot better. It's obviously a little bit more fitted and I'd probably wear it most comfortably without buttoning the button, but I do like the look of it overall. Again, it is frustrating though to not be able to pull the sleeves up at all and um, it's a little bit tight in the arms if I had to move around a lot. And keep in mind, I just have a thinner blouse on underneath so it wouldn't be able to layer up over at anything heavier than that. The texture of this fabric is very soft and nice, but everything seems to stick to it. Lint and little pieces of thread you have to pull off a lot. Here I have it paired with the actual shorts that go with it to create a little bit of a short suit. The shorts are very nice once you find your size, which is a true problem. I normally wear an 8 to 10 in bottoms, and I had to go up to a 12 just to be able to squeeze some on. I would probably be most comfortable in a 14, so that means you need to size up two to three times in shorts. This blouse comes in two color options, regular price $58, sizing extra small to double XL. Unfortunately, they didn't have my size, so I tried a large, which is definitely too big for me, especially in the shoulder strap area. It is stretchy in the back with ruching, so it could be forgiving depending on your bust size. Uh, you can definitely feel the uh, strip around your waist with the peplum style, but um, it was a cute top. I just really wish that I could have tried my right size. 
I paired the peplum top with the roll cuff skinny jeans. They only have a 27 inch inseam, so they are naturally very short on my frame. Regular price $68, and they are a mixed blend, so they do have a lot of stretch in them. The size 10 does fit me, but I think that the, size, the white was not the best option for me. It showed every lump and bump. The waist definitely had a little bit of extra space for me, so they might be worth trying in a different color, but I, again, I felt like they were a little too short for me. If you are more petite, they would work. I actually love this dress. It's a polyester rayon spandex blend, and it is $74 full price. I just have the wrong size. I need to get it ordered in a size medium, and I think it would look a lot better. The knot is a true knot, and it actually could be untied and tied around your bra if you needed to wear um, a strapless but wanted to keep it a little more secure. I think that would work perfectly. But other than that, I just, I have zero complaints. Love this dress. This sleeveless midi dress comes in five different color options and one stripe. It is shown in a size medium. It's a very comfortable. It would just be an easy dress to wear for multiple seasons and easily layered with a jacket. It's a very comfortable uh, mixed blend of materials, rayon, spandex, polyester, I believe some cotton. I like the pockets on it. I love the overall fit. I'm not wearing shapewear underneath it. And so I feel like it still would work whether you need it or not. I think that it's an adorable dress, $74 regular price this puff sleeve mini dress is definitely not for tall girls or for pear shapes for the most part it is a rayon linen cotton blend has a nice puff sleeve but is definitely tight and fitted through the thighs and a little bit loose in the waist area it's just an odd fit for my body shape so i won't be able to keep this unfortunately and i don't think sizing up would work because then it would be too big in the um, upper half in the puff sleeve area it might work really great for more petite gals or straight figures this puff sleeve maxi dress is shown in a size medium on me, which I believe is true to size. It is $98 regular price and says that it's a cotton and linen blend. And I believe there is a little bit of rayon possibly in one of the linings. It is a very long dress. It hits me below my ankles and I am uh, over 5'8". So if you're a little more petite, it could be a problem. It is a true maxi wrap dress and is actually pretty comfortable and feels Feels pretty secure uh, with the way that the dress wraps around. This is called a petal sleeve tee. It comes in four striped color options, extra small through double XL. Regular price, $44. It does fit well, it's true to size. I'm wearing a size medium. The petal sleeves, however, are a little bit interesting. They can flip on you or get caught up and then they get a little bit awkward. So I feel like that would be something I might be fussing with a tiny bit. I did show this earlier under the blazer though and it wasn't uncomfortable at all. So you could layer it underneath pieces. Overall, uh, the fabric felt really nice though and um, it's a well-made top. I'm showing this linen rayon blend utility jacket in a size medium. Fits true to size. I love how comfortable this jacket is. Regular price $78. Again, don't pay full price. Fits really well. I love how it cinches in around your waist. It comes in two colors, navy and this khaki. I'm having a hard time deciding which one I like better. I love that you can pop the collar. You can also roll up the sleeves if you wanted to. All the buttons and I believe the pockets are functional. It is not lined and very lightweight. So you could even button it up and wear it as a really neat utility style peplum top if you wanted to. And I just think it's a really packable piece that you could easily layer just about over anything. And it would just add a fun element to your outfit. So for this particular try on haul, these were my favorite three pieces. I am going to order this dress in a size medium. I'm still deciding on the utility jacket if I need a navy or if I like the khaki better. I can't decide. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. And as far as this red sleeveless dress goes, I'm having fun with the idea of red, but I want to look online and see what other co color options they are before I decide. 
All right, I hope that you enjoyed that in-store try-on and a little bit of a sneak peek of what some of the line looks like. I really think it's a cute line and it is very true to what I would say the Draper James look is. And so if that's your style, I think it's definitely worth checking out. I do think the prices are mid to higher range considering um, what the fabrics and everything feel like, but Kohl's seems to be always running sales. And if I didn't mention it already, I saw that they already had all of the Draper James items on 20% off, which tends to be a um, smaller sale for Kohl's, but still 20% is better than paying full price, right? So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know if you are gonna be checking out the Draper James line or if there's other lines from Kohl's that you'd like me to check out too. All right, until next time, I'll see you soon.